Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. Hamas successfully penetrated Israel's most advanced defense system called the Iron Dome a few days ago. Hamas fired more than 5,000 rockets and breached the border. Several soldiers and civilians were killed in the sudden attacks. The exchange of fire between the two sides continued into the night in Gaza and Israel. Previously, the Iron Dome was touted as Israel's most sophisticated defense system against Hamas rockets. The Iron Dome defense system in Israel is one of the most effective air defense systems on the planet. Iron Dome to protect Israeli citizens from Hamas rocket attacks. This Iron Dome intercepts and destroys rockets and short-range mortars of up to 45 miles or about 72.4 kilometers that enter its area of coverage. The sophistication of the Iron Dome system is claimed to have saved many civilian lives during conflicts that have plagued the country in the last decade. The IDF Israel Defense Forces stated that the system had a success rate of 95.6% during rocket attacks by Hamas since May 2021. So, how does the Iron Dome work? The Iron Dome is an Israeli mobile missile defense system designed to intercept short-range rockets and artillery. The Iron Dome is Israel's missile defense system against rocket and drone attacks from the Palestinian territories and Hezbollah-controlled Lebanon. This defense system was developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems with support from the United States. The Iron Dome system is primarily designed to intercept rockets, not cruise missiles. According to MDAA, the Israeli defense system consists of three main elements the Tamir Interceptor and its launcher, the ELM-2084 MMR multi-mission radar, and the BMC battle management and weapon control systems. An Iron Dome battery typically includes three to four launchers, a battle management system, and a fire control radar. Each launcher can hold up to 20 Tamir Interceptors. A single Iron Dome battery can defend an area of up to 150 square kilometers from short-range missile, mortar, and rocket threats. The Iron Dome system can distinguish whether a rocket will fall in a populated area or in an open area without endangering it. The Iron Dome can detect and engage targets at a range of up to 70 kilometers. The system uses command data links and active radar seekers in the interceptors for guidance and employs high explosive warheads to destroy the target. The ELM-2084 MMR serves to detect incoming threats and provide mid-course guidance for the Tamir interceptor. This radar is an active 3D electronically scanned array operating in the S-band frequency. Since its initial deployment, the Iron Dome has been continuously improved. Israel has enhanced its tracking and engagement mechanisms and increased the number of batteries. Israel began developing the Iron Dome in 2007. The latest Iron Dome testing was completed in 2010 and Israel began deploying its first units in 2011. According to reports, the Iron Dome had intercepted more than 1,500 targets between 2011 and April 2016. Israeli officials claimed that the Iron Dome intercepted 85% of the 400 rockets fired from the Gaza Strip during the 2012 conflict with Hamas. These rockets were projected to hit strategic population centers or civilian areas. Israel completed an upgrade of the Iron Dome to support the use of missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles in March 2021. Israel verified the system's air defense capabilities in tests that included rocket and missile attacks as well as simultaneous UAV threats. By the end of the Israel-Palestine conflict in 2021, more than 4,000 rockets had been fired, with an estimated 20 to 33 percent of them not reaching Israeli territory. During this conflict, Israeli officials claimed a 90 percent success rate for the Iron Dome against selected rockets. Meanwhile, 
other analyses suggested that the Iron Dome had intercepted 1,428 out of 1,500 rockets approaching populated areas, with a reported success rate of 95%. Hamas fired 5,000 rockets at Israel on Saturday, October 7, 2023. Sirens were even heard as far as Tel Aviv and Beersheba. This attack marked Hamas's deadliest attack since the Egyptian and Syrian attacks during the Yom Kippur War 50 years ago. The system, equipped with radar that detects rockets and uses command and control systems, quickly calculates whether incoming projectiles pose a threat or will impact uninhabited areas. If a rocket is deemed a threat, the Iron Dome fires ground-launched missiles to destroy it in the air. The defense system creates a loud explosion when intercepting the rocket, which can sometimes be felt on the ground as it destroys the enemy missile. There are 10 Iron Dome batteries throughout Israel. Raytheon and the International Institute for Strategic Studies report that these batteries each have three to four launchers. Iron Dome 2.0 has been used by Israel since the May 2021 conflict and successfully intercepted around 90% of the 4,000 rockets fired by Hamas. Iron Dome 2.0 uses a new missile called Tamir-2. Each interceptor missile costs approximately $80,000, although some sources report prices as high as $150,000 per missile. Assuming each Iron Dome 2.0 battery has four missile launchers and each launcher holds 10 missiles, the total cost for 10 batteries would be approximately $460 million. Iron Dome 2.0 features a more advanced radar system called the ELM-2084, which can detect projectiles with higher accuracy and reduce the risk of false alarms. This radar system was developed by Israel Aerospace Industries and costs around $25 million per unit. Assuming each Iron Dome 2.0 battery has one radar unit, the total cost for 10 batteries would be approximately $250 million. Therefore, the estimated cost of developing Iron Dome 2.0 is approximately $710 million. However, this is a rough estimate and does not include operational costs, maintenance and further development of the air defense system. Although the Iron Dome plays a key role in Israel's air defense, it does not work alone. It is part of Israel's multi-layered air defense system, which includes middle-tier and Arrow 3 layers designed to intercept ballistic missiles outside the Earth's atmosphere. When Hamas fired 5,000 rockets at Israel, the detection and tracking radar within the Iron Dome detected the rockets and sent information to the weapon control system. Quick calculations were then made to detect the trajectory and potential targets, and threats were subsequently destroyed. However, why were Hamas rockets able to penetrate the so-called most advanced Iron Dome defense system on Earth? Even though they used the latest Iron Dome 2.0 system with a longer range and more advanced interceptor missiles, the Iron Dome 2.0 has a longer range than the previous Iron Dome system, reaching up to 250 kilometers compared to Tamar 1. It also features more advanced interceptor missiles with larger warheads and better sensors. Iron Dome 2.0 can also address threats from two directions simultaneously, increasing system flexibility and effectiveness. Iron Dome 2.0 can also be deployed at sea on Sa'ar 6-class corvettes to protect offshore gas platforms alongside the Barak 8 missile system. The reason the system was penetrated is that during the Hamas attack, the Iron Dome faced a barrage of 5,000 rockets in 20 minutes. This made it difficult for the defense system to intercept all targets. On the other hand, Hamas was able to fire thousands of rockets because their cost was much lower. According to Hamas, they fired 5,000 rockets, while Israel reported about 3,000 projectiles that successfully penetrated the most advanced Iron Dome defense system and hit buildings as far as Tel Aviv.
In addition to Iron Dome 2.0, Israel is also developing Iron Dome 3.0. This system will have an even longer range, extending beyond 300 kilometers. It will also have more advanced interceptor missiles, including the programmable Tamir-3, which can address threats from three directions simultaneously, thereby increasing coverage and system responsiveness. Iron Dome 3.0 can also be integrated with a more modern command and control system called the BMC, Battle Management Center, which can receive data from various intelligence sources and provide tactical recommendations to system operators. BMC can also automatically control interceptor missile launches based on threat priorities. Outside of Israel's Iron Dome defense, the attacks involving 5,000 Hamas rockets and the current war sirens, we hope the conflict between Israel and Hamas ends soon. In every war, the lives of innocent civilians are the greatest loss.